What's going on everybody? My name is Mike. Welcome to my channel. This video is all about three simple, easy, must-have outfit ideas for the winter time coming up. The first one on this list is a classic must-have for a man, woman, doesn't matter. It's an easy, timeless piece. This is the peacock. It's always going to look good. You're never going to be overdressed or underdressed. And that's why I absolutely love it. The biggest thing with a pea coat, however, it needs to be a perfect fit. A pea coat must fit you like a glove or else you're just going to look sloppy and it's not going to work. The sleeves can't be too long. The shoulders need to fit you right. It needs to be a nice silhouette. That's what a pea coat's all about. It's a timeless classic piece. It's been around forever and it is a must have in anybody's wardrobe. The nice thing with a pea coat is if it's not that cold, you can just wear it with a shirt, you know, a button up, anything like that throw it over top and you're gonna be good to go. You're gonna look good, you're gonna feel good, and you're never gonna be out of style. A pea coat is one piece that I would highly recommend always spending a little bit more money on. You know, going up a little bit in price is gonna get you a higher quality product that you will not regret 10 years from now. A pea coat isn't trendy, it's not something that's not gonna be in style 10 years from now, five years from now, probably 20 years from now. So spending a little more money now and getting something that fits you perfect, that's a good quality wool, is gonna go a long, long ways. Number two in this video is gonna be a vest. I wore it with a baggier hoodie, a little more comfortable, you know, maybe going to the grocery store, going to the gym, something like that. This is a versatile combination that everyone must have. A vest obviously has been around for decades as well. Denim vest, puffy vest, anything like that. I'm sure you've worn one. If not, I highly recommend you get one. They're awesome. The super nice thing with vests is you can wear them in the summer. You can wear it with a t-shirt, it's gonna look good, it's gonna keep you a little bit warmer. You can get a heavier vest, lighter vest. There's so many different variations that I think is a great addition to anybody's wardrobe. Third and last on the list is the classic parka. This is a must have in Canada. It gets so cold here. I don't know how you can function without it when it's minus 40. You can layer up with five different layers, but in my opinion, nothing compares to the parka. It's comfortable, it's warm. If you get a high quality parka, you can literally have a t-shirt on throw it on top, walk outside, and you're not gonna get cold. A parka is something that I recommend also spending a little extra money on. You know, the one I'm wearing in this video is definitely a little on the pricey side. You can get something for around probably $300, I'd say, that's gonna offer the same, if not better, comfort and even more warmth, and you're gonna love it in the long term. The one thing I would highly recommend with a parka is you wanna get something that has a bottom zipper. And the reason for that is I recommend parkas that would go past your thighs. Um, or hit your mid thigh type thing. The reason for that is one, it's gonna keep your legs a lot warmer. You're gonna sit down and your butt won't get wet when you sit down on like a bench or something like that. It's gonna be there for you to protect. And the reason for that second zipper is that you can zip that up. It's gonna offer much more versatility when you're walking. So if the park is like this, your legs are gonna be flying around like crazy. When you open that up, it's like you don't even have it on. You can sit down, you can get in the car, you're not gonna have to take it off every two seconds. So it's a super nice piece. It's a must have, like I said, when it's this cold outside and you can wear it with or without anything underneath, depending obviously how cold it is and how high quality the parka itself is. So that's it for this video, guys. Thank you for stopping by. Please like and subscribe if you made it to the end. I would really, really appreciate it. Also, let me know what you thought of the outfits below. If you liked them, if you didn't like them, if you would do something different, I would love to hear how you would style it. Also, if you have any questions or if you'd like to see anything in future videos, let me know below. I'd love to comment and talk to you and answer any questions that anybody may have. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you soon. Peace.